Hi all of you. Welcome to the next class. As you are all aware that I was going to discuss hot questions in mathematics which have good probability of appearing in your SSLC board examinations. I observed that many of you are not subscribing. Please do like, share and subscribe and and please please do share this video so that others could make best use of these videos and achieve the best it motivates me to teach you more learn more and do things more let us start our class begin with a prayer om gyana timiram dasya gyananjana shalakaya chakshuru miritam mena tasmay shri guruve namo so 31st problem is a three mark question okay. prove that cos 70 divided by sin 20 plus cos 55 into cosec 35 degree divided by tan 5 degree into tan 25 degree into tan tan of 85 degree into tan of 65 degree equals to okay here we have to prove that the whole sum is equals the two number two it's divide of all cos and sin okay you have to find a number 31st problem it is you have to, you have to prove so let's let us write the problem statement first that is cos 70 divided by sin 20 degree these are all in degrees okay cos 55 into cosec 35 divided by tan 5 degree into tan 25 degree into tan of now 85 degree into tan of 65 degree okay whole equals 2 it is a problem and we have to take lhs here okay let us take lhs taking lhs write lhs this okay. lhs equals cos 70 divided by sin 20 plus cos 55 into cosec 35 divided by tan 5 degree into tan of 25 degree into tan of 85 degree into tan of 65 degree okay these are in series guess okay. continuous tan functions and cos functions as this it may you it may appear you as a difficult problem but it is too easy such that none of the other problems are difficult easy than this okay easier than this okay please observe carefully here you saw that cos 70 is there we don't know the value for 70 degree cos value for 70 degree and even 20 degree also okay so what can we do is we can convert Okay, that is, we can convert this cos seventy divided by sine of here. What we can do is twenty is ninety minus seventy is twenty. Okay, like that we can do ninety minus seventy degrees twenty, and sine of ninety minus seventy is what cos seventy, and hence the both can be cancelled. Numerator and denominator get cancelled. Okay. similarly here also we can here here both we have here cos and cosec function so when we convert this cos into <coughs> cos to sin that is how that is cos of 90 minus 35 is 55 cos of 55 that is cos of 90 minus 35 into cosec Nine. Okay, this let it be as it is. Thirty-five, and here we can use here. Tan of five can be replaced as ninety minus eighty-five. Okay, into tan of twenty-five can be replaced as ninety minus sixty-five, and into this both as it is. Tan of eighty-five into tan of sixty-five. Okay, next. Okay, we substituted for all unknown angles with the 
known angle 90 degree reference as a reference and within with which we are solving this problem okay this is the important point here you know that with reference to 90 degree axis the all functions change and uh, okay this is the techniques used to solve here is cos 70 here it is sine of 90 minus 70 is cos of 70 and <coughs> yeah cos of 90 minus 35 becomes sine of 35 okay and cosec 35 it is as it is these are all in degrees and divided by tan of this this becomes tan of 90 minus 85 becomes cot of 85 and tan of 90 minus 65 becomes cot of 65 degree and remaining as it is tan of 85 and tan of 65 degree and here we can also that here cos 70 cos can get cancelled remaining 1 and here sine of 35 into cos sec of 35 equals 1 you know sine theta and cos theta equals 1 sine theta into cos sec theta is 1 you know that relation and here here also same cot 85 into tan 85 is get can we get cancelled and cot 65 and tan 65 can cancelled and results in 1 means this is resulting in 1 okay so here it is 1 in this side and here it is also 1 becomes 2 equals i chess okay this is the problem this is how the problem is okay it's very easy and the only thing is we have to take the reference point as 90 degree and we convert all the functions alternatives okay cosec can be cancelled with sec sine and that uh, cos we are replacing 55 by 90 minus 35 and here 35 as it is because it is going to replace it by sine function which in turn results in 1 this is how the process is working and yes, let us go here you can even convert the sine cos function by sine function okay please note okay you can do it in any way here i converted in numerator i replaced in denominator and in numerator also you can do okay you do in different okay fashion means in different way you do the problem and make it better understood to you okay you have to do try every problem in a different manner so that only you can understand the problem in a good manner okay full manner please do the do that next we can go to other problem 30 first only it is it is also trigonometrical and here the angle of depression and all comes into picture <coughs> this problem is the angle of depressions of two boats on a river from the top of a tree on the bank of the river are 30 degree and 60 degree if the height of the tree is 30 meter and the boats are in the same line with the tree on one side of it find the distance between the boats okay this is the problem okay. here is the diagram is given is a tree for you as a hint it is given already is a tree of 30 meter height and there is a boat called C and D I will directly take the diagram this is a tree okay as you can imagine like this okay there is a tree okay, okay. a person is sitting here and is there is a tree of height 30 meters there is a tree of height 30 meters and it is on the bank of a river okay you can think this as a river 
this boat and here the boat number one and the boat number two let us call them as A and B they are in the same line and when a person is seeing from this height they are at an angle of depression of from the this reference axis okay. they are at an angle of this is at an angle 30 degree and this okay this is at an angle 60 degree this is at an angle 630 and this is at an angle 60 yes. you observe this is it given here okay it's already given data it is 30 is at an angle 30 degree from the angle of depression here it is 30 and hence it is become 30 and the second one becomes 60 okay this becomes 60 okay. this is also diagram the tree which is having the height 30 meter and the angle of depression of 30 degree and 60 degree for two boats respectively a and b so we can do what <coughs> we have to find the distance ab okay this distance we have to find <coughs> find that we can go further this is the angle we have to find here the distance d okay, here the boat number one is d and two is c so we have to find dc how can we find this here they big since this line and this line is parallel these are vertically in jet form and these angles will be equal that is 30 degree and this also equals <coughs> since two lines are parallel these are called consecutive angles you know you have studied this okay equals and already they have given this as 60 degree and 30 degree also what can we do is apply this trigonometry since they have given the angle and uh, distance one length of the side of a triangle 30 meters in meters we can directly go for a tan function yeah, trigonometry use trigonometry that is this let this be b dash okay. b to b dash b b dash is 30 meter <coughs> length of the tree and here we have find dc that is obtained by db minus cb equals dc okay this length minus this length is this length that is dc tan of 30 degree is bb dash divided by bd okay bb dash divided by db we are taking this as db and tan of 30 we know that is tan of 30 is what tan 30 is 1 by root 3 and bb dash divided by db and we know that bb dash is 30 meter okay bb dash is 30 meter is given here and so d b becomes 30 divided by 30 into root 3 sorry and that becomes 30 root 3 db yeah. we found db is 30 root 3 meters and we have to find cb okay, using tan 60 this 60 degree angle depression this tan 60 equals pb dash divided by cb okay. and cb is unknown so we can take it other side LHS and BB dash divided by tan 60 and BB dash is 30 and tan 60 is root 3 CB is 30 by root 3 meters and it can also be written as root 3 into root 3 into 10 divided by root 3 yeah you know, root 3 into root 3 becomes 3 into 10 becomes 30 okay that is 30 here and how is 
cancelled and the answer is 10 root 3 meters cv equals and the answer can be written as side here i will write <coughs> is dc is db minus cb and db is 30 root 3 and cb is no db as 30 root 3 meters and cb as 10 root 3 meters okay we are in root 3 we have in common so 30 minus 10 becomes 20 the answer is 20 root 3 okay meters therefore the distance between the boards is 20 root 3 meters this is how you have to write and uh, simple right we have tan 30 we have tan 60 which is opposite by adjacent and tan 30 as bb bb dash by db and tan 60 as bb dash divided by cb and we will get db and cb subtracting sub, subtracting cb from db we get dc as equal to 20 root 3 meters okay. simple this is how you have you have to go on solving very easy problems trigonometrical problems are very easy better you have to practice the problems and you have to practice thoughtfully okay. thank you thank you for watching please be in touch with the channel to have more videos make your exam successful